Hey, this is Professor Perez again. We're going to continue our work with applications of percents. Now, don't get scared. But before we get started, we got to get Charlie. He would be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, ready to go? Yeah. All right, let's get started right there, Charlie. Now, pay attention. The annual tuition at a four-year college is expected to increase from $4,500 to $5,400 next year. What is the percentage increase? Well, notice, Charlie, we're going to use our format that we developed over the past two lectures and use the fact that the amount of increase must equal a percent increase times, in this case, the annual tuition. It's basically saying that the portion, which is the amount of increase, is equal to the percent times the total. And our total is the annual tuition from which the increase occurred. So our annual tuition from which it increased was the $4,500. But how do we get the amount of increase, Charlie? Pay attention. To get the amount of increase, we must take the difference of $5,400 and $4,500 because it increased from $4,500 to $5,400, right? So there's a difference right there. You can use your calculator to get that difference. What do you get, Charlie? 900. That's right. So that is our amount of increase. Now, in this problem, we're asked to find the percent increase and we're going to represent the percent increase with X and our annual tuition from which the increase occurred was the $4,500. So that's the tough part. All right, so now we have our equation. Remember, x times 4,500 is the same as 4,500x. And how do we solve this, Charlie? Divide by 4,500. That's right. Those cancel. And now, what's the value of this quotient, Charlie? Use your calculator. 0 0.20. Very nice, and that's x. Now remember, remember, we're trying to find a percent, so how do we change a decimal to a percent, Charlie? Move right twice. Move it to the right two times, and notice we have to put that zero as a placeholder, and so our answer is 20%. So it was a 20% increase, right? That's a lot. All right, Charlie, let's do another one. A person whose salary is $42,000 receives a 2% pay cut. Ouch. Anyway, what is the salary decrease and what is the new salary? So there's two things we have to answer. What is the amount of the decrease and what is the new salary? So here we go, Charlie. Now, here's our format. The amount of decrease is equal to the percent decrease times the total salary, right? And here we're asked to find the amount of decrease. So we'll represent that with X. What's our percent decrease as a decimal, Charlie? 0 0.02. Very nice. And our total salary? 42,000. Very nice. Now, to get the amount of decrease, we just find that product, get your calculator out, Charlie, and what'd you get? 840. Very nice there, Charlie. And so $840 is the amount of the salary decrease. Now, to get the new salary, Charlie, all you have to do is take the old salary, which is 42,000, subtract the salary decrease, and what did you get? 41,160. Very nice there, Charlie, and that is the new salary, so it's not bad, right? All right, here we go, Charlie. Let's do another one here. Now, this is a discount problem. During a clearance sale, a pair of shoes originally sold for $89.95. And it is marked down to $53.97. Okay? What is the percent discount? So here, we're looking for the percent, right? Okay, so here's our format. The amount of discount is equal to the percent discount times the original price, right? The original price is the price before the markdown. All right, Charlie. Now, here we first have to find the amount of discount. Remember, we're looking for the percent discount, okay? And so we have to find the amount of discount. Well, the amount of discount is found by taking the original price and subtracting the markdown price, right? And so there's our difference over there. 
$89.95 was the original price, and we're going to subtract the markdown price to get the amount of discount. And what'd you get, Charlie? $35.98. That's right. So, the amount of discount is $35.98. Our percent discount is what we're trying to find, so we'll let that be X. And what was the original price, Charlie? $89.95. That's right. That's the price before the markdown. And so, remember, X times 89.95 is the same as 89.95x. And how do we solve this, Charlie? Divide by 89.95. That's right, those cancel. Now, what's this quotient? 0.4. Very nice, and that's x. Now remember, we're trying to find a percent, the percent discount. And how do we change that decimal to a percent, Charlie? Right twice. Okay, don't forget to put that placeholder there. And so our answer is 40%. That is our percent discount problem. So. Well, we got to keep working. So anyway, do your homework. It's time to take a break and we'll see you all again soon.